In this video, I'm going to show you how to code your McQueen robot to escape a maze that your teacher is going to set up in class. Um, as shown in this video, um, you're going to be able to move your, your um, McQueen in, in stages, um, left, right, and forward to be able to eventually escape a, um, a predetermined path. Okay, so let's get started. You're gonna to need to use the, um, the make code uh, website. And what we'll do is we will um, give our project name, we'll call it maze runner. Um, okay, so with our McQueen robot, the first thing you're gonna to need to make sure you've got enabled is the McQueen extension. So we will add McQueen spelled that incorrectly, uh, the McQueen extension, and that will give us access to all of the movement blocks that we're going to need. Um, the other thing, the other new feature we're going to be using um, is a function. So I'm going to create a new function and give it the name turn right 90, which I mean 90 degrees. And the way that a function works is you can, it's like a mini program. You can add as many blocks into a function as you want and then call it from your main program. So I could call this function multiple times and it means I don't have to rewrite my code out again and again and again. So what do I want to do for my turn right 90? Okay, so this will require a little bit of um, trial and error. But from my experience, what I've found is if you if you turn your left wheel forward and your right wheel backwards, um, that will that will turn the it will start to rotate the um, the car um, clockwise. Um, so so right. But we we need to use a pause block to stop it at the exact time um, that the ro the robot faces a ninety degree angle or right. Um, I have found that 200 milliseconds um, actually works the best for that. Now you may need to adjust that to get your McQueen robot to stop exactly where you need it. So that's actually quite a tricky part of this task and you'll have to use a bit of trial and error So um, and a bit of testing. So once I've got that function, um, I'm actually going to create another function called turn left 90 degrees. So um, let's create a function called turn left. And insert it here. Now, a quick way I can fill this out is I'll duplicate my bricks. And I will, um, I'll switch them over. So to turn left, it makes sense that the right motor will move forward, but the left motor will move backwards. And I'll use the same concept here. Um, so that would be turning left. The other function you might need, and you again, it might be a bit of trial and error, is move forward. Now, depending on the distance uh, between each section of your maze, it may be that you'll need to adjust this, um, the pause block again. So if I do both motors moving forward at speed 255, and you might want to slow it down, you might want to rein it in a bit and, and call it 150. Um, you might need a pause block. Um, and so that will only move the, the, the robot for, for 0.2 seconds. So I, I would suggest trying two seconds um, and see how you go with that. It may be that it, it over overruns, but um, you'll only be able to find that out um, by testing. So let's say we would like to solve the following maze so let's say we had we would like the robot to move forward then right then forward then left then forward what we would have to do is think about um, the sequence of events so i'll use um, f for forward left for right and uh, sorry, left for left and off for right. So this is forward. I turn my car right. Then I turn left. Then I go forward. I've missed a forward here. And then I'm going to turn left. Go forward. Then I'm going to turn right. And I'm going to go forward. So we put that sequence of events out. I go forward, right, forward, left, forward, 
left, forward, right, forward. A little bit messy, but that is my sequence of events from one all the way down. Okay. Now it might start to make sense with why I've created these functions. So I can now call these functions and I can line them up with my um, my sequence. So forward, right, forward, left will be going forward, right, forward, left. And you can see that I'm starting to build up a story that might help me escape a maze. That's all the advice I'll give you in this video. Um, good luck. And I would suggest thinking about adjusting these pauses um, to give you a little bit more control over your individual robot. Okay, good luck. And I'll see you in the next video.